Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you my two top choices for watercolor sketchbooks for botanical painting and painting animals. Um, and I use both of these sketchbooks quite a bit and I will show you what I like best about them, why they work and where to get them online. Today's video is all about watercolor sketchbooks and I am letting you know the two top picks I have for watercolor sketchbooks. I'm first gonna show you my current sketchbook. And this is, you probably can't see it very well, there's a little crest on the back and it's by the brand Pentalic. Um, I'll try and find a spot online to get this and link it below. I bought this at my local art store and it's not as readily available online, but it is really great quality watercolor paper, 100% cotton and um, works well for loose watercolors, which I've done here, um, as well as, you know, a little bit more detail, still some looser detail there, but um, this is what I'm currently working on. And then more um, the wet and wet sort of three-step watercolor painting technique that I normally use, it still takes that quite well. So it won't take quite as much water and detail as your um, Arches paper, which I've shown you in my last video on my um, best watercolor papers video. So you can have a look at that, I'll link that below. So this is still more of a sketchbook, thinner style paper, but in regards to getting a nice hard cover sketchbook, this is a really great option. Other than that, you could also go the moleskin sketchbook route. This is, um, you can see that here, probably not, but again, the little emblem, moleskin. This is the moleskin watercolor sketchbook. I've done quite a few of these. This one I actually have not finished. Um, you can see this is actually 90 pound paper, so it's really good quality paper for the amount of detail and washes you can get for being only 90 pound paper. Um, the idea <clears throat> of this sketchbook was for to do um, a plant on each one, sort of A to Z in the alphabet and then write about the plant here. Maybe I'll get to that when I'm retired, who knows. <laughs> um, so there's another picture though, pretty good, um, sorry about the autofocus on my camera, pretty good detail. And then also this is double sided. So I've painted on both sides of this paper so if you're thinking you want to have a sketchbook for botanical painting, this is a great option. And the moleskin watercolor sketchbook comes in two different sizes. This is the bigger size. Um, and then there's a size which is kind of like longer like this. Um, and I'll link those both below. These ones are fairly readily, readily available online and you can get them on Amazon. And I did show you in my last video also my little handmade sketchbook. And this is just 90 pound Dalla Rowney inexpensive watercolor paper. If you're just starting out, you could just get a pad of paper and make your own little sketchbook. And that's what I've done with this. I just cut uh, sheets into two pieces, stacked them up, put a staple, um, one, two, three staples, and then a little bit of washi tape over the spine to make it decorative. And you can get this paper in this pad here, 90 pound by Dalla Rowney at Walmart for under $10. So if you're not quite ready to invest in a nicer hardcover sketchbook, then this is a really great option. And I mentioned before too, this is a really great option to do with your kids. So if you and your kids both want to paint a lawn and create a nature sketchbook, this is a, a great little project to do. I just used a paper cutter and again, as you can see, this is one and two. So two pages per sheet and then just stack them up and then washi tape over. There you can see the staple is there sticking out a bit. Um, but another great little sketchbook option. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you next week.